Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'll take J model from EBC company, electric bike company for range test. And to see how the performance, we're gonna check the seat for long ride and just in general, try to answer any questions I saw before. And from all the experience we're gonna have today while I'm riding. So let's go. And I'm gonna use uh, GPS and also display right now i have 10 miles on odometer and i will use gps also to see what speed i'm traveling and i will know what the distance actually i rode and then um, i will compare that to give you most accurate information and i'm going to use only single battery even i have two batteries right now 14 amp each but i will use only one for few reasons one of the reasons when i'm run out of the battery i will be able to get home the second reason uh, if you decide to buy one of the j model and i will be appreciate if you use the link in description for any electric bicycle purchase that will support my channel and if you click and subscribe would be great if you like this video the second reason i will use that you can uh, decide how many batteries you need because the J model comes with options to select three batteries and once you know what mileage one battery will produce then you can decide if you need two batteries or three that should help you to choose the correct amount of batteries because they're not cheap but well worth to have it because when you run out of the power then you have to pedal the bicycle and regardless which electric bicycle they are always a little bit more heavy and not as easy to pedal as traditional bicycle i also have one of the problems i just realized when i came home and start to edit this video that uh, my microphone the one i just bought and i'm not very familiar with all the options i recorded uh, and it's produced the quality kind of poor and I don't want to do all this voice over since you want to hear how the motor works and just the real numbers I'm going to tell you so for that reason I'm very sorry but I will turn on this original video with original sounds and let's go so it's not really fast acceleration uh, so uh, faster bicycles but again there is quality involved so different quality uh, different um, model of um, the bikes they have also and also it's customized so that's why the price might be a little bit different than what you can buy from already uh, like bicycle which already sold as it is uh, you might get much better deal of course with the same kind of setup similar but not the same quality or you get the same colors so of course it's like all uh, it's not for everyone the bicycle but it's great for some people uh, mostly for parents who wants to give the bicycle to the kids it's one of the safest settings you have to have um, approval before you start to ride it also you need to approve in order to increase the speed and i've been in take i forgot i may have the picture actually how to change the speed i put it on off-road mode and i do see controller it says 109 uh, 109 Fahrenheit. so we're gonna see how much Heat will produce at the top speed for a long ride as well. So right now it's 109, when I left it was like 70. So some update, I rode about 2 miles, uh, mostly on the past year, as most people hate it, I guess. But I'm uh, almost on the bike pass now, and I'm going to use throttle only. So EBC company all about customization, color, uh, anything you want to add on on the website, you can add to the bike, technology package, helmet, anything like all about to be uh, legal on the road and also uh, kind of unique. 
uh, that's why this no such a company actually uh, say similar to them. Some of them try to be, but not the same level of customization. Some of them they do customization, but most of the bikes are not really legal to ride in the street unless you register them. So uh, a little bike company only making legal bicycles which uh, can be class one class two class three and also for off-road so i'm running right now on off-road mode and i'm gonna use um let's see how fast i can go so far it's only 22 miles and i get unlocked off-road mode I'm not sure, I don't think they reset up bad because I did remove all the batteries before to charge and to weigh them. So each battery weighs 7 pounds. The bike itself weighs 59, about 59. Just the bike with no batteries. And then it depends how many batteries you're going to put on. Then that's how much your bike will wait. It's easy to remove the batteries and very easy to put them back. So if you have three batteries then you're gonna have one in front of you. And we're gonna have a lot of stops here. So my top speed so far was 25 miles, which is not a lot without pedaling and it's a bit cool to me. I think I'm still in off-road mode, that's what I believe. Uh, there's no really way to check unless I enter something like security password and I think I left it at home. But I'm about 87% on the battery with three miles only reading. So, um, since there's too many stop gonna be, we're gonna probably um, discharge the battery. I think, I hope, I will ride at least 14 miles. Um, based on my previous experiment, uh, it's about one mile per arm, so it comes with 14 arm battery, so I would consider like that, because I'm heavy and the motor is only 500 watt peak. Uh, I mean, not peak, it's uh, continuous, and it can go up to 850. Right now it's 740 and now it's 26 miles now. So it's bring up the speed eventually. Still it's not uh, super fast like some people expect, but I think it's a very good speed for this type of motor, which is uh, just um, 500 watt and slim. So they usually are not as powerful, but they should be good with um, I still seem to. So let's. But again, everything about this bike, it's like you just put it at home and then you, even if you go and ride it, you enjoy every second when you look on this bike because it looks so cool, so nice colors. Because you basically pick the color you want to at the first place. You can uh, you get everything so nice and solid, all the parts. Everything in the leather grips, but it does kill your electric bike company. Uh, I like the Tom Trato, also a nice uh, control for display to switch in the speed. So everything really cool on the bike. Let's see what I see here. Vip. Okay, I'll switch to that. And I have 50.9 volt. Uh, voltage and also one of five Fahrenheit temperature of control, 84% battery. And I'm heading to the Balboa Park, Los Angeles, Balboa Lake actually. Uh, Balboa Park, Lake, Wood Lake. Let's see if I can make it on one battery because if I cannot make it, I'm gonna turn around because I have backup exactly the same battery to get home. So I don't really want to pedal with the bike because um, that will get brutal with the bike, but again, I, I don't want to pedal. Well, I will probably pedal back home with the assistance, power assistance, 
but I don't want to play on this noise systems because then it will be very slow at 10 miles or an hour. And um, I may be hungry by the time. <laughs> so obviously I need to kind of ride at 26 miles an hour, not bad at all. I need to kind of um, pick the, my uh, speed that I can always get to the green light. I'm not sure how to do that. Always do it to the red. I'm not sure why. But that would be one of the cool stuff if I can get to the green and then again green so I don't have to stop. So I'm past five miles now and I have 77%. 100 volt Fahrenheit in controller and the speed 23 miles an hour. Let's see, I'm gonna hold it. It's a long stretch over here, so let's see how fast, but it's windy. It's only like 23 miles right now. 25. Okay. 26. So I do a lot of stop and go. That actually uh, stop and go takes more power here than just going straight because right now I'm you know, running about 700. Actually, 600 on a wood power peak, 26 miles an hour, about 25 on uh, GPS, 26 on display. So we say with 25 and 74 uh, percent on battery. And if I keep going the same way, all the all rest of the mileage gonna be much higher than stop and go because every time I stop, I need to write. Uh, like just kick in, so it will pick power up to 850. So it takes about a few seconds to get to the speed, like about 10 seconds, and that takes the most power. That's why when you're riding on the street in a car or any vehicle, it's always about 30 to 40 percent more consumption of power. I'm very really close to Balboa Park. It took me eight miles so far, and I'm at 67 percent. The controller 160 Fahrenheit. Actually, it's a beautiful sky over here. Partially blue, partially dark blue and gray. So um, everything's so green. So I'm at Balboa Lake, California, right now, and I'm gonna go around it and uh, just to give you more update uh, voice over as uh, the microphone was terrible i'm sorry about that and now i learned how to i need to learn more about how to use this microphone it's a great microphone by road but again the settings was wrong so i want to talk to you about the seat experience as well because it's very important uh, the seat is uh, somewhere between, it's not soft, it's not the hardest, it's right between. I rode it uh, for 8 miles already on this bike and I feel good, uh, no complaint about seat from my side. The only things I didn't like is hardtail because when you jump over some bumps, you can really feel uh, it's basically give you no amortization and you feel it in your spine uh, unless you stand on your feet and then um, you can um, kind of reduce these shocks but again would be nice to have a sus rear suspension on this bicycle and i think it would be great to have options to choose more powerful motors this one is 500 watt and if they can give you an option to upgrade to 750 that would be much better because i weighed 215 pounds and this bike accelerate not as quick but it's pretty nice it's carrying me up to 27 miles on throttle only which is good but if you're planning to ride uphill that will be really tough and again this bicycle mostly designed for the beach riding uh, on the flat surface not for off-road i would not recommend anybody to buy this for off-road because it's a hardtail 
and I also put a high PSI, high pressure in the tires. So basically, and that's why it's a little bit harder for me to ride, but it gives you better performance on the pavement if um, you want more smooth and more comfortable ride then uh, you may consider to put like around 40 psi in these tires and i'm just riding around we have a lot of homeless in this area it's a beautiful day as you can see it's a blue sky um it's been uh, i've been here like a few weeks ago on another bike testing and i expect to get about 14 miles on this bike but so far looks like it's getting much better result for me probably because this bike weight lighter than previous bike it's only like 59 pounds plus the battery each one seven pounds but performance i would say it's not bad you basically don't buy this bicycle for higher speed you buy this bicycle for safety because it's equipped with all the safety features and if you select the technology package you're gonna get i believe turn signals uh horn and many many other options which highly recommend to get again this bicycle uh great as a uh, riding experience on the flight surface if you're looking for off-road this might be not the right one for you because for off-road i would recommend full suspension and probably uh, 4x20 tires uh, also this bike brings a lot of attention um, i can see people looking uh, because it's not only uh, bright red but it's uh, looking really great uh, as a bike and the seating position very comfortable on this bike i can tell you i adjust the handlebar if you can see it's a little bit higher i brought it close to me so my hands uh, will be more resting and i ride already almost uh, an hour on this bike because too many stops and i'm still uh, feeling good sitting on the seat which is very important uh, many people ask because you cannot really adjust the seat and for me first time when i saw this bike on expo i have concern about the seat because the seat feels really hard but once you start to ride it it's uh, getting like more comfortable and the seat is there is no problem with the seat and a few weeks ago we have a uh, heavy rain so as you can see the road all in mud but it's already dry up and um, again it's very really great experience i will not go fast over here because some area is still uh, as you can see a little bit uh, water and the tires it's like most street tires is they're not designed for mud riding and very slippery gonna be so far it's good the controller i think uh, have kind of uh, limitation for the heating so i couldn't get any over 120 fahrenheit uh, controller overheat so it's very good because they do implement some safety features so it means the controller will not burn out as some bicycle does and look on this sky it's so beautiful and this is uh, supposed to be i think uh, los angeles river and this is a burbank uh, street uh, right now there's no car probably green light somewhere or red light somewhere but you can see a lot of mud it was all flooded last time i came here uh, they did a lot of cleaning and all the street was closed but let's go further and my gopro battery uh, kind of died so i have to replace it but my microphone still not working well and um, i'm at uh, 12 miles right now with 52 percent on the battery uh, which is almost half i'm not sure if it's the correct number but yeah i'm gonna check and see if the battery is supposed to be dead and i'm by the golf course which is the burbank golf course and i'm gonna go right more so i expect to get against now it's 12 so probably at least uh, 15 and about so we'll see how it will go
And I'm surprised to see so many people actually outside and flying all these airplanes. It was uh, kind of surprise to me because it's kind of Friday and uh, daytime. So I guess a lot of retired people just enjoy the time. And it's a kind of hobby, a lot of dedication for it. But let's go and see further. So I use only throttle, try not to pedal. I think they target, uh, the EBC company target mostly people who live by the beach mostly or just enjoy uh, riding um, along in the park. Uh, the bike have uh, special pedals which actually allow you to ride bare feet. Uh, it's uh, made uh, with a rubber cushion. So basically, uh, as soon you get the bike, you can ride it even without shoes, bare feet, which is great. And the reason uh, the company actually located by the beach, Newport Beach, and I think they have very good experience uh, with the uh, atmosphere because when you have a bicycle uh, and you live by the beach, most of the bicycle will start to rust and get damaged very quickly because the corrosion will damage many parts of the bicycle. That's why they do have very good quality, not only performance like um, they design them and stuff, but they choose the usually parts looks like to me they choose exactly uh, what will not rust. So they either paint it or they have aluminum and looks like um, they do uh, consider uh, because many of the bikes also good for rental and if you check you may see in uh, some of the good hotels they do have uh, electric bicycle company bikes for rent because not only they have many steps through which very popular by the beach riding as a cruiser but also they're uh, reliable and the rental companies they don't want the bikes to break down often so they pick a ebc company most likely because it will last longer and it will not rust and less uh, fixing that's um, give you kind of idea what you are getting because uh, you will not see many like um, brands for rental uh, because uh, many of them only last for a few months in this kind of situation and looks like EBC company they make the bicycle which will last longer and I can feel the quality while I'm riding and actually I feel like power start cut out uh, maybe the percentage is not accurate maybe I'm not sure but I'll tell you more um, I see 27 okay I see 40 the voltage is only 40 and wow actually I think um, I might actually reach the limit we can check out to see what the top speed with no load, this way I know the... Yeah, it's only 25 miles an hour, but for some reason the button is warm but not as hot as I expect. So it's good, um, but so far I have 20%, 27 miles, so it means 17 because when I left the home it was it was um, when I was at home, it was 10, and I rode most of the time throttle top speed. But right now, it's kind of jerky riding. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on actually. I'm gonna, and I rode on one hour and 15 minutes. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna. So I, I'm at 17 miles, so basically 17 miles is not bad. And I'm gonna turn off the battery. So 14 amp battery can make 17 miles with me on top, which are 215 pounds. And luckily I do have second battery. I will, I just switch it on, turn off the one I used 
because turn out to be the battery uh, on the display actually show me wrong numbers uh, so the bike start to shake uh, kind of uh, like become jerky so basically under voltage so when I came home uh, I turn off completely bike turn, off, uh, turn on the battery and I check the uh, percentage so basically the battery have I think 39 volt even below 39 volt that's um, much below 39 volt it was I believe and uh, the battery on the display show me only 4 percent so 37 uh, about 30 percent 37 percent I think is shown before was not really accurate numbers so the battery basically been already uh, empty on 17 miles so you will be able to get about 17 miles uh, on the fresh battery it's brand new battery and again every year the battery might reduce a bit and that's throttle only most people will probably pedal because this bike can be pedaled pretty simple it's uh, actually not bad pedaling on this bike um, but as you can see i'm going through the mud um, but i try to be on slow on this surface because it's slippery again the bicycle perform really good uh, as i see it it's uh, somewhere in between i cannot say it's most comfortable seat i cannot say it's a worse seat it's in between so i start to ride back home and i decide to pedal the bike actually and i notice that uh, pedaling the bike will not like depend on the pedal assist level so if you're planning to pedal assist level five your battery will be draining as fast as you using throttle only so depend on the speed you're going so you need to check um, how much motor produce a watt peak because when i start to pedal home uh, i produce about 800 uh, peak power which uh, takes a lot of power out of the battery so it means i was going about maybe 24 25 miles an hour with the pedaling so my battery as a battery was actually the second battery start to drain i think even faster than i was riding on the throttle so if you planning to save battery and you don't you want to have better range so you might want to consider pedal on the pedal assist level two or three that will save you the most uh for range so again using the throttle only it gave me about 17 miles depend on the weather of course that's why i usually don't do range test but all depend on the weather and uh, surface conditions how much air pressure you're gonna put in tires the result may vary but consider at least 17 miles and then you can do the math they selling three different batteries so if you buy two batteries so we might last about 30 to 34 miles if you're gonna be pedaling at a higher speed it may take um, about the same mileage i think uh, most of the longest range you're gonna get on pedal assist level one or two that's what most companies the post usually the highest miles based on the pedal assist level one at certain uh, air pressure in the tires and on lighter rider i'm uh, like i usually is considered to be a rider 150 pounds and i'm 215 so i'm pretty heavy for the bike and that's why the battery drainage faster if you the person is much lighter and will pedal on uh, pedal assist level one or two so it's about 15 to 20 miles they may get about double range and i guess that's all for today thank you guys for watching this video i'm sorry for the sounds i hope the next video will be better sound please subscribe follow me if you have any questions comment below and i'll see you in the next video bye